before you watch the video subscribe it click on the bell icon for more notifications hi everybody welcome to aga math this is rakesh today we are going to learn about quadratic equations applications of quadratic equations problems on numbers in our previous videos we have introduced what is quadratic equation and how to find the roots of quadratic equation different methods now here we are going to learn the applications of quadratic equations problems and numbers of them the first question find two numbers whose sum is 27 and product is 182 let us see how to find the numbers which satisfies that sum is 27 and product is 182 so here let the number let the numbers let the number is x means let one number is x so what about the other number if one number is x then the other number equals to 27 minus x oh why do i take 27 minus x because the sum is 27 sum is 27 means if we add these two numbers that is x and 27 minus x we get 27 so which satisfies this condition and the next is product is 182 means product of these two numbers is 182 it means x of 27 minus x equals to 182 if we write it into like if you simplify more x into 27 is 27 x x into minus x is minus x square equals to 182 now I would like to write this uh, into the standard form of a quadratic equation right so to do that once again yes so when I write this into the uh, standard form of quadratic equation what I get is uh, like x square plus so minus 27 x plus 182 equals to 0 now we have to find the roots for this uh, quadratic equation uh, so we have different methods like uh, uh, factorization method or completing square method okay even you can use a formula also for this okay so just what i do now i use a factorization method to find the roots for this that is x square minus 13x minus 14x plus 182 equals to 0 so if you see that this is uh, x common if i take x minus 13 uh, minus 14 if i take common that is x minus 13 equals to 0 so that what happened now x minus 13 is a common from this now x minus 14 was left equals to 0 right in this case x minus 13 equals to 0 or x minus 14 equals to 0 so that is the x equals to 13 or x equals to 14 hence if one number is that and the other number is can check so if one number is 13 other number means what 27 minus x right so 27 minus 13 is 14 so these are the two numbers which satisfy the condition that is uh, whose the sum is 27 and the product is 182 so it's very simple just take one number as x and other number 27 minus x and we'll continue this this is the way 
fine let us come with one more example here here we have one more question sum of two numbers is 15 if the sum of their reciprocal is 3 by 10 find the numbers so sum of two numbers is 15 right so what I do just let let the number uh, okay so right so that is uh, let the number equals to x then the other number other number equals to 15 minus x right if the sum of the reciprocals is 3 by 10 if the sum of the reciprocals is 3 by 10 right so reciprocal means we know it is a so reciprocal of this number x is 1 by x plus and reciprocal of 15 minus x is 1 by 15 minus x and said that sum of the reciprocals means the sum of these two reciprocals is 3 by 10 it means it is uh, equals to 3 by 10 now we have to simplify more to form a quadratic equation right so here we are now if I take the LCM for the denominators that is uh, x of 15 minus x so see in this x is common now so 15 minus x is to be multiplied with this numerator 1 so 1 uh, times of 15 minus x is uh, 15 minus x plus 15 minus x is common so x is to be multiplied with 1 it means 1 times of x is x equals to 3 by 10 now if you simplify more that is uh, uh, yeah 15 minus x plus x it means this minus x plus x get eliminated which is equals to 0 right so that 15 so just I uh, do uh, 10 15 that is 150 equals to 3 of x of 15 minus x is to these two are multiplied in this manner right so now mm, how to do just continue the same so that is uh, 150 equals to 3 of x into 15 is 15x minus x square now if you uh, if you if you simplify more that is 150 equals to 3 into 15 is uh, 45x minus 3x square I'll write this into the standard form of a quadratic equation that is uh, uh, like 3x square minus 45x plus 150 equals to 0 so if you see the each term here that is 3x square minus 45x plus 150 that here yeah, where every term can be divided with 3 so divide each term with 3 with 3 now divide each term by 3 so what happened then if you do that you get x square minus 15x plus 50 equals to 0 right now it is easy to us to simplify more now you have to see the find the roots of this quadratic equation okay you can use a, either a factorization method or completing square method or using formula so you can do it right here I will use a factorization method so that is x square minus 10x minus 5x plus 50 equals to 0 so that here x is common so x minus 10 plus so it is minus 5 of x minus 10 equals to 0 in this case it is like x minus 10 is common 
so x minus y is left here equals to 0 so finally with this we understood that x equals to 10 or x equals to 5 so these are the two values which we would like to take so if one number is 10 the other number is 5 or one number is 5 then the other number is 10 so what are the two numbers here but two numbers are therefore the two numbers are 10 and 15 the two numbers are 10 and 5 or 5 and 10 because if one number is 10 other number is 5 or if one number is 5 and the other number is 10 so obviously you get these two numbers that is 10 and 5 okay so this uh, this is the way we just solve uh, applications of quadratic equations problems and numbers okay let us have one more example uh, then okay 